So as you know, it's not always sunny, and when it's raining, you can be inside playing string games. You don't always have to go to the PlayStation straight away. You can grab some wool and play some string games. Even use your shoelaces or whatever else you can get about that much string from. Not your mum's cardigans and not your dad's beanies. What you want to do, get your two strings, the rabbit goes around the tree, through the hole, and voila, we have ourselves a loop. Now this is good for hand-eye coordination and dexterity in the fingers, also encourages subtlety in the wrists. For when you're attacking, boom, bang, see? Also looks pretty. So what we're gonna do first is your basics. So through your thumbs, pinkies come underneath, and then you've got your rectangle. This is pretty much your basic starting position. The first move we're gonna teach you is what I call the cover ball. You go under the string here, and then you see that string that's coming across my pointer finger. I'm gonna go under that string there, and I've got one big diamond in the middle and two triangles on the top and bottom. Now what I'm gonna do with my thumbs is I'm gonna go over the top of the diamond, underneath the bottom of the diamond, and then you see that flat string at the top? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my tip, pull it over my thumbs, action replay. I'm gonna take that flat string and I'm gonna put it over my thumbs. So it's gone over my thumbs now. Your thing should look a little bit something like that. What you're gonna do with your pinkies now is you're gonna pull your pinkies out, pull apart with your thumbs, and there is my cover ball. First step is to put your pointing finger through the slot and same with the other hand. Then to push your thumbs over these, these and it should turn out like two triangles over each other. Now we use your mouth and flip the string over your thumbs and let go of your pinkies. Okay, so this next one that I'm going to teach you is what I call the taufale. But if you're Samoan, you probably call it a salu, and if you're Palangi, you probably call it a parachute. So we start like this. So it goes over our pinky, over our thumb, we pull it down. And then we're going to reach through again, pull it down again. Pretty simple. So that's pretty easy. This is where it gets tricky. What you're going to do is you're going to reach through the hole, grab the outside string from your pinky, and also at the same time, grab the outside string from your thumb, and you're going to pull it back through that loop. What you should end up with is something a little bit like that. This gap here for your pointer finger, this big hole here for the nothing finger, this hole here for your ring finger. And then you're going to put it over the top of your hand and it should look like that. Then you see this string here? You're going to pull that, but you don't want to pull it too tight because then you'll break your salu or your parachute. So this is what I mean by parachute. But if you're Tongan or Samoan, we break it, so we pick it back up and we call it a taufale or a salu. Sweep, 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 brush, brush, brush. The parachute, the first step is to pull your slot down and do that twice by going through in. Now you're gonna go through the hole and hold your wrist and pull down these slots by the outside of your thumb. And you're gonna flip these over your thumb, uh, pinkies, and pull. Parachute. Very solid. Yeah. And that's how you make a cover ball and a parachute. Buffet Thai Lover.